your, your one in that way there is that right? Now, you went abroad to understand a couple of times from your heads, is that right? The Corby year, uh -huh. we went direct for Corby to London. Uh -huh. And that's when the, the CNE started in Toronto. Okay. And there was five of the grade one bands uh -huh. that went at the same time. The CNE? The Canadian National Exhibition. And the and Tor Toronto. Toronto. And uh, what month of the year was that, roughly? It must have been end of June, beginning of July. Okay, right. And uh, how did that go? It was excellent, but yeah. hard, hard. Aye. Oh, I and the you know, for example, we were still in bed, mm -hmm. and the room doors were knocking. Mm -hmm. There was four years in the one room. Robert Turner opened the door, and it was drummers want to come in and listen. <laughs> 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 Do you know where they were from? No. Brittany. Away, aye. Uh -huh. There was a, a band who was, Jack Espancy was the pipe major. Uh -huh. And Patrick Moller played in the same band. For goodness sake, aye. Uh -huh. They came here and played, I think it was grade two they played, and it was. And they, I couldn't repeat what Robert said, but uh -huh. we eventually, when we had time, he spent a bit of time with them. Aye, okay. But that started another thing. Uh huh. The next thing was that Jack Espancy sent an invite to go to the band to go and play in Camperley, no Camper. Aye, Camperley is a different place. Uh huh. So we went there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that was transpired. Was that music festival in Camperley? Aye, aye, yes, it was, well, it was mainly music and dance and aye. Uh -huh. uh, Breton groups, Breton traditional music. Were you the but, only Scottish yes, band aye, there? Yeah, yeah. We, we were the only band other than the Did Bretons. it involve just the uh, parades? Or? Parades and long parades. Aye, aye, aye. aye. Uh, so, the, again, it was a, a, an adventure and... Uh, Eventually, Robert actually went to back to Brittany and they uh, helped the drum corps Annery after that. Okay, ah, uh -huh. right, okay. Uh, so I went to the Toronto three years in succession. Uh, was that on three years? Three years, uh, no, it was only four years because I, I never went in the last year because... Ah, ah. So I did the band go across each of these years? Yep. Mm. Ah, yeah. Five grade one bands. Some, uh, there was changes in the, the, the bands that went. Uh, one in particular, uh, I remember the last time I was here, Dysart were there for the first time. Okay. Uh, That'd be Shepherd would be in charge. Bob Shepherd is a pipe major, yeah. Aye. aye. And Edward Gordon came in. Uh huh. I think it was the second year Edward Gordon came in. Uh huh. Uh, so, but there was it was five grade one bands. It was a, it was good, but uh, hard going. Hard going, aye. Yeah. Aye. Was it a decent competition? a decent standard I mean, were they all able to play up to a good standard when you were at Toronto oh yes aye aye yes so it was a, it was a really the good the weather and the travel didn't interfere with no 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 no. So okay. no not at all when we went to from Corby where we were second we went to the CNE mm -hmm. and the Hackle won it and we were second again by that I'm going to say on the hackle would be under Weatherston yep. at that time. Yes, I. John Weatherston. Ah, uh -huh. Wilson Young was the leading drummer. I played with the hackle in 1962. Was it close at uh, Belfast? Uh, and uh, I think we got second in the Worlds that year. And it was a two seven seven. I uh, remember them. I uh, Johnny. Uh, the Territorial Army. They won it and 
guess who's the Pride Major? John Weatherston. 1962. Correct. So, uh, it's amazing, uh, you know, the, the cross fertilisation between right. the, the bands right. and all this. So, uh, right, you were abroad in uh, Canada. Uh, you, you, went, you mentioned Brittany. We'll come back to Brittany re- later on in this conversation. Yeah. Uh, where else did you go abroad with um, your head pipe band? Did you go to Russia? They, they, they were in Russia, but that was about four or five years before I joined. Okay, right. And we so. went to uh, Sicily. Right. With a band, and it was really good. It was a festival of Almond Blossom. Uh huh. And they were there from all over the world. Yeah. It was really, really. Good playing. It was one of the way. enjoyments I had in Aye. going to f- festivals abroad. Aye. I remember doing one in Salerno, which is just up from Naples, if you like. Yeah. And uh, in Salerno, I think it's two years, or was it just one year? It doesn't matter. It was way back in 67, 68 with the police bike man. Mm-hmm. And then. Um, U.S. Sixth Fleet Marching Band, a sort of jazz uh, group, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, were in the same hotel as us and uh, doing street parades and all this, and they were terrific. These guys were fantastic, yeah. you know. <coughs> mm-hmm. And uh, we gave them, a, no, they gave us Zippo lighters with the motif of USS Little Rock. Uh, which was a spy ship in the Mediterranean, mm-hmm. and its sister ship had been seized by the North Koreans uh, early in the, I think it was the 60s, USS Pueblo, right? Anyway, we ended up with these Zippo lighters and sailor hats uh, from the, <laughs> the US uh, sailors. Aye. And in return, we gave them LPs, long playing records for you lot out there. LPs of the Glasgow Police playing the the family favourites. Now, I don't know much of Zippo letters because it's Americans, but uh, I think they get the worst part of the bargain because the record we gave them was useless and it was terrible. But there you go. <laughs> but this is what happens when you go abroad and it's, okay. it's nice. Aye. We went up to Aquaterme the following year and mm. uh, that was the North of Italy and that was mm. a different audience, different experience. Yep. Very good. It's good to go abroad. Oh, and yeah, any yeah. other place did you go with them? Abroad? Aye, with the, the Muirhead's Pipe Band. L'Oreal. <laughs> L'Oreal. Aye, <laughs> okay. L'Oreal's in Brittany, folks. Right, uh huh. And the. Uh, did you arrange that at that time? Yes. Aye, so yeah. we'll come on, right. on to that, yeah. right on to that later on. So, okay, we've we'll sort of covered the, 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 the form the visits, we've covered the, your winning prizes and all that sort of stuff in the early 70s. What happened to the band eventually in the later 70s? What was the score? The band... Was top of the shop mm-hmm. right through the seventies. Right. And then the bombshell burst. Mm-hmm. There was a difference. Of, Bob Hardy. Bob Hardy had decided he was retiring. Okay. And it was an internal thing in the piping side. Mm-hmm. And one thing led to another. Without mentioning names, the band was disbanded. Mm-hmm which was a real, real bro. Mm-hmm. Over tops, mm-hmm. as you know. Yeah. And the band was disbanded. Dear, dear. Are you able to say anything about it at all? Are the folks still living in the Aye. Aye. Yeah. Aye. Aye. So. Yeah, I could say, but I would prefer no to Ellen. Aye, OK. Yeah, but it was internal papers only. Uh-huh. And then Muirheads were very good about it and they gave us a nice night out uh-huh. and they presented Bob and Robert with a nice retiral uh, gift, gift aye. Aye, aye. 
and that was it. Just all within weeks, 